Hello world, Tesla was recently the target of an international bout of cybercrime. A Russian cybercriminal conspired to bribe a Tesla employee $1 million in Bitcoin to plug a malicious USB stick into Tesla's computer systems with the aim of exfiltrating sensitive data. The hackers would then hold Tesla to ransom and give Musk an ultimatum, pay a multi-million dollar ransom or have your sensitive trade secrets published online for the world to see. But how did this conspiracy end? That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity security related tech news. This all started in July last year when Russian national Igor Igorovich Krishkov, I hope I got that right, when he was sent on a mission at the behest of a Russian cybercrime gang. After some reconnaissance of Tesla workers, Igor got in touch with a Russian speaking Tesla employee via WhatsApp. Attempting to build a rapport with one of Elon's minions, he flew over to the US on a tourist visa and met up with the Tesla employee. The employee is only mentioned in court documents as employee of victim company A, which I realize is a bit long winded, so we're just going to call him Steve. With the aim of getting Steve on side, Igor took Steve and some of his mates on a road trip, but interestingly Igor refused to be involved in any of the group photos. In hindsight this might have been a bit of a red flag. In either case, Igor eventually proposed his plot to Steve in a bar, help us break into Tesla systems and in return we'll give you $500,000 in Bitcoin. All you have to do is deliver a payload via a malicious USB stick deep within Tesla's networks and we'll do the rest. The plan was to exfiltrate data from Tesla's systems and threatened to release it if Tesla didn't pay a hefty ransom. The attack was to be camouflaged with a DDoS attack on the Tesla Gigafactory Steve worked at to act as a distraction in order to preoccupy Tesla's information security team so the data exfiltration would be overlooked. According to court documents, Igor and his band of cronies were hoping to extort $4 million from Tesla, a life-changing sum sure, but one which nevertheless at the end of the day would have been considered pocket change to Tesla. However, Igor didn't plan for the possibility that Steve would wouldn't want to play ball. I can only imagine that perhaps Steve liked his job and wanted to see his stock options mature. Depending on how high up Steve is at Tesla and how long he's been employed there, there's a good chance those stock options might be worth a little more than a measly $500,000. Steve spilled the beans of the plot to Tesla, which in turn contacted the FBI. The FBI kitted Steve out with a wire and sent him back to Igor in order to gather further evidence and build a case against him. In a subsequent meeting, which was of course surveilled by the FBI, Igor upped the ante and offered Steve $1 million in return for his cooperation in the scam. It was revealed that Igor himself was only going to profit $250,000 in the scheme. After a few more surveilled meetings, the FBI eventually deemed their evidence sufficient and informed Igor he was a suspect. This prompted him to panic. He subsequently drove to LA and got a friend to buy him a one-way plane ticket back to Russia. However, by this point, it was too late. He was arrested on his attempt to fly home. Igor was formally indicted in September last year and initially pleaded not guilty, stating with confidence that he would prove his innocence in court. However, the existence of the insurmountable evidence slowly dawned on him. Faced with the prospect of five years in prison if found guilty at trial, he accepted a plea deal. In return for a guilty plea, he'll only serve between four and ten months behind bars and he's due to be sentenced in May. It's been theorized by some that the ransom aspect of this plot may have just been a facade, that instead this was an intelligence gathering operation. After all, Tesla does have some pretty valuable IP under its hood. Igor doesn't have any links to the Russian government, so there's no indication that these machinations were state-sponsored. There wasn't much of a comment from Elon Musk on this tale other than a tweet, thanking the employee for not becoming a mole and corroborating the fact that this was a serious attack. Tesla is no stranger to cyber intrusions. A few months ago, they fired an employee for stealing trade secrets. After just three days on the job, one Alex Katilov is alleged to have started bulk uploading secret Python scripts to his Dropbox account. These scripts are part of Tesla Tesla's warp drive software, which is the back-end software for much of Tesla's business. Tesla has sued the guy for violation of trade secrets, though Alex Kitilov denies any wrongdoing. The outcome of that is still pending. If you want to see more of this kind of video, make sure to let me know in the comments and turn those sub notifications on. In other news, Maltronics is a website run by myself where you can find an array of super cool pen testing products. Our gear is used in over 100 countries and you can get 10% off with code Satonic. Thanks for watching. For behind the scenes footage, do make sure to follow me on the Instagram. As always, sources will be linked in the description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.